Check it out. This is what I did. Hooked up the hood latch setup on the Camaro dash and used a VW Jetta hood latch to lock it. And now I can open my hood. Want to see how I did it? So what I'm doing here is I'm using my die grinder to grind to slot out the holes so it'll fit on the hood. I'm gonna probably weld that up a little bit stronger later. I ground down that little flange on on the latch system there, make it a little easier for me to get the bolts in and out. I had to test fit the lock mechanism a bunch of times. So what I did is I pulled out that engine bay cover that covered the radiator so I could look in there and I could see how, how exactly the lock goes down so I know what size plate to make for that. And also I had to sl slot out the factory hood latch mechanism area. I've already removed the lock if you notice there. And so what I did is I, I drilled out the little corners to kind of make slotting it a little bit easier and it just makes it stronger use my trusty old milwaukee m18 grinder and then i use my body saw the thing works great so i use some eighth inch thick plate steel that I had laying around that kind of fit almost perfectly. I only had to shave a little bit off the end there and I rough cut it here so I could kind of put it all together and then see what was missing. Then I had to slot out for the lock mechanism. So the lock mechanism sits on top of this when it's welded in. This way it's always pushing down. I guess you could do it either way, but that's just, I can easily access it. So it doesn't really matter which way you do it, I don't guess, but I ended up cutting a little more out a little bit later, made more room because of course you always want to cut more out later than have too much cut out. I taped the two pieces together that kind of made fitting it a little easier. Once I did that, then I could put that part on the hood and lift the hood up to see, make sure it all fits. I'm not sure why I didn't remove the grill earlier. I probably should have, they would have made it a lot easier. Sometimes I'm not exactly thinking clearly, I guess. And, but, you know, that's part of building cars. You do stuff a couple times before you get it right. Here I'm notching out around where the bolts are that hold the original bracket in place. It just, you know, it allowed it to go down further. And I had to shave a little bit more off the back again. But that's what I did there, in case you're wondering. You can see the bolt holes, the bolts there, right in front of the grinder. So it kind of set in between the two bolts there, right where that piece of tape is. So after I got that sorted out, I went ahead and drilled out the holes and put some rivets mounting the plate and the lock mechanism together. This way I could fasten it to the hood and then weld it in instead of trying to figure out where it goes later. I figured that's the easiest way to do it. Maybe there's another way, just the way I did it. Also, I, I realized I should be holding the drill and pushing down towards the ground as opposed to pushing towards my hand. I've already got enough holes and cuts in my body. I don't need any more this week. I'd love to hear some recommendations on a better rivet gun. This is just a cheap one I think I got from Harbor Freight or Amazon or something. I'd like to get a professional one. I'm not really sure if an air operated one is worth the money, but either way, let me know. Appreciate it, put it in the comments. Here I'm finally welding in that plate to the original bracket, tacking it all in, moving around until I get it nice and you know firmly tacked. Then I can open up the hood and weld it all from the top. You always want to check twice. You know you want to check it, to make sure it fits before you weld it in. You got to be, you know, you, it's really a pain to kind of go back and cut something out. So that's what I did there.
check it out. Boom. So after I realized that the lock is in the right place, tacked in, I know I needed to cut out that radiator cover panel that I made. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, kind of make a, a slow transition down to it. I think it'll be a lot cleaner looking. Something, I want it to look like it came that way, like something like this was a factory option, just not a very common one. That's why you didn't see it before. I kind of like that look. That's kind of what I'm always going for. Something that looks like it came from the factory, but you're not sure. You're like, wait a minute, I don't remember seeing this before, but it looks like it's factory. It's a lot harder than just making something fit and work. So that's what I'm doing here. Also, if you are gonna cut aluminum, a trick is to, I know it sounds silly, but run your blade over like a bar of soap or something like that. So it doesn't just gum up the blade and stuff like that. It works really good. I don't know how it does, but it works. Somebody pointed it out to me and I did it and I'm like, wow, this is actually pretty crazy because it really does work. See, I'm using it with the, the body saw right there too. It really does help when you're cutting aluminum. And then of course I wanted to make sure that the radiator cover still fits with the lock mechanism and it does. So this is a little part that I made for a little bend in there. It kind of fits in nicely. It goes right in here like this. Bends it over so it's right directly in the center of the hood. And I'm gonna weld on some little brackets right now to kind of make it solid in there. Now, if I was confident with my fabrication skills and my knowledge, I probably could have just welded that straight to the lock mechanism instead of making the little kind of slotted bracket so I could slide it on there kind of like a key. But this way, I'm able to change it if, if I was wrong. So anyway, worked out really good. I put two little plates on the side to kind of hold that in the slot up top. It's kind of hard to see. There's really no need to show you exactly how I made this because this really is custom just for my vehicle and all the other stuff that I have. So you would need to figure this little part out or, or use a different lock mechanism. You just can't get your finger in there. Probably on the Jetta that it's for, I think it's like for a 99 Jetta. Picked it, I picked up that lock set, by the way, off of eBay for like, I think it was like $16 for the top and bottom. So pretty good deal. At this point, I decided it was probably a good idea to just go ahead and weld it on there, knowing that it was really close. So I tacked it up. I'll fully weld that up, just like everything else, once I pull it off. Just, uh, this is all just for fitment stuff, so. Having an air nozzle is kind of critical whenever you're doing a bunch of welding. You can cool down the metal so it doesn't transfer heat anywhere else, and there was some plastic on there that I didn't want to overheat and melt, so that's why I did that. to unlock it inside there you know it's gonna be nice I had to do that for the turbos turbo sits in here the latch usually comes right in here or down here I think so the uh, intercooler sits there can't get to it this will all be ground down nicely fully welded up when I pull it all out a lot of this stuff is always just mocked up it's never fully welded until it's all together so anyway there you go that's how you put a, a modern hood latch in a classic car you know and get the in-cab hood latch release. Makes it nice, makes a nice cleaner finish.